thanks for tuning to Gami Beauty 101. Today I'm going to be doing an uh, initial review on a wig that was sent to me from Lace Wig Trend. And this is the packaging. It does come FedEx, which is really, really fast. When you get the package, it looks like this. And it doesn't have care instruction and how to match your skin type and everything like that. This wig is an 18 inch full lace wig, Yaki um, straight wig. Comes back with that. Bag. I did pre cut the lace already. It has a little paper inside, just to give the shape. And it comes with a little compact mirror, which is really cute. It's somewhere in here. Somewhere. Right here. <laughs> a little compact mirror is really cute, and it does say like lace wig trend on it. So you go always check and make sure your lace wig is looking cute <laughs> while you have it installed. So this is the inside of the wig. So you can see it's all lace. It's not like a front lace where you can't really part it in the back. If you open it up, you see it's all lace. You can part it anywhere you want. See, this is more of a texture right here. After you wash it, it looks like this. I did um, test a few strands on top to see how silky silky it will get so i did ask for a higher density in the back because i feel like a lot of wigs nowadays you order it and you spend spending more than three two hundred dollars and it's thin like you don't want a wig that you have to add hair to it so i love the density of this wig and everything like that i will try it on just so you guys can see how it looks without doing anything to it just in case you don't know how to style or anything like that so i got right back and um, show you how it looks flat ironed and curled. So I'm back. I just um, put the unit on. Didn't do anything to it or anything like that. So on this side, I am going to show you how it looks after it's been flat ironed. The knots on this lace wig aren't bleached, as you can see. But you could always use concealer and go right there near the root and conceal it. But sometimes I feel like when I put concealer, because my complexion is kind of off compared to my scalp, it kind of looks weird. So I'm not going to put the concealer for right now. I'm going to try and do it later on. I'll see how it looks with a cap underneath. So it's right there and I'm going to go close. And look how beautiful that is. Yes, so it has a lot of, a lot of texture and even after you flat iron it, it doesn't look bone, bone straight. It looks like a light yakky texture. So, so it looks, I'm going to go right here and try to show you the difference flat iron versus not flat ironed so you can have more than one look out of this unit you can get the sleek look or the kinkier look and it's only one pass this, this is the h2o flat iron it gets really 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 hot I think H2 or Red Pearl, I'll look at it, but I have both of them and they get really hot. That's a shame, like the writing is like completely gone, but it's one of them. But it gets really hot. See, I use it so often. I got it from a Bronner Brother hair show like two years ago. Oh, won't come off. So that's how it looks. I don't have an elastic band as you can see or any combs or any clips. I just have it placed right on my head. So that's the hair straight. And that's the hair in its natural state. So this is the hair flat ironed. Still beautiful. A lot of texture. And this is more of the kinkier side. 
if you like the big hair you see how much volume that is on the side so I'm going to show you how it looks curled because I haven't tried that yet and I just want to see if it's going to hold a curl because sometimes you get coarser textures and they don't hold curls at all whatsoever Oh, the curl. Oh, wow. The curls are well, so that's a plus. And that's a Cricut curl and iron. I got it at Marshalls, like twenty dollars, but it works really good. And it gets really hot. And you can see those crimps a little bit, and see how once you put any kind of heat, you don't have to flat iron this hair before you cover it. In case you're worried about that. curled I'm going to try to do at least two more sections so you can see the hair in its natural state the hair curled and the hair straight I'm holding the wig closer to my scalp since I don't have a last band or anything like that I'm trying to fake it until I make it with the band Cause I get really bad migraines and sometimes the elastic band, it just hurts, you know? And I'm not trying to go that route. I'd rather just sew it on and use the band right now. Unless I'm just going somewhere for a little while. But this is how it looks, curls. Still has texture, on, texture to it. And this is really good if you like natural looks. Especially if you're transitioning or natural and you want something that really mimics your hair when it's blown out. Not everybody likes silky hair. I don't prefer either or. Um, I like it all. I like kinky, straight. I like it silky. I'm just like all over the place. But I am leaning more to more natural textures. I still do like long, super long hair. So I wonder how kinky straight or kinky curly will look. Super long. But I feel like it looks really realistic when you do natural lengths. Like if you want to do leave out, you can always buy kinky straight. extensions but that's how it looks curled really cute nice body to it that's how it looks curled this is the texture without doing anything to it you see that texture right there it kind of mimics radiance from glamour house of hair or the new Wild Child from Jace Beauty. That's what it reminds me of. The Wild Child from Jace Beauty. And you can always part it wherever you want to part it. See right here. Bam. Once you bleach your knots through this unit, it's so versatile. Part or whatever you want to part, middle part. I have a big forehead, middle parts don't work for me. <laughs> so, on the side. So, that's how it looks. Like that. So, natural and then sleek, flat ironed. So, 
This is how it looks pressed. So those are the three different styles you could do with this hair. You could always crimp it. You could do bantu knots. You could have tons, tons of ideas and things you can do to it. I am going to style it later on and show you pics and things like that. If you have any ideas or you want to see any kind of looks with this style, please comment and let me know. But I really like when it comes to shedding, barely no shedding whatsoever. I didn't get any tangles. I still don't get any tangles. Because I did try it on earlier today just to see how it will look. I'm thinking about dyeing it, but I will have to look um, more on reviews and see if anyone has dyed it or do any test strands. Because I feel like sometimes the wigs, you don't want to take the, um, the chance and dye any kind of color. It does change the quality of the wig. So that's how it looks. Thanks for watching and God bless.